Yeah, he's all right. Uh, he was messing with his left shoulder. Um, that's why we went out there. Uh, just looking at the body language. He said sometimes his left shoulder slides out, you know, so <clears throat> yeah, he said he was fine. He was, he, was, he was still good to go. It's a great growth opportunity right there for Estevez. I mean, that's a, that's a really, really tough save. And, he, you know, he got himself in some trouble there uh, with, with the command getting away from him. But uh, his stuff is so good that he can, he can punch guys out and, and, uh, and get out of an inning unscathed like he did. Uh, it's a tough win, man. We had, to, we had to really fight for that win. Nolan mentioned John Gray's demeanor, how he carried himself today. You've never seen him carry himself like that. Did it look the same to you? Yeah, I think it's we're just seeing uh, Johnny Gray <clears throat> get more and more confidence as a major league pitcher. We're seeing it almost from start to start. Uh, that's been the biggest transformation, in my opinion, from a year ago. He just he, he believes he's good. He knows he's good, and he's he gonna come right at you. And um, another really good performance from Johnny. No one there, not I guess it has been triple all day. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's just it's good to hit, hit that reset button, especially mentally. You know, no one uh, physically he, he's very, very durable. He holds up well, but everyone needs a mental break from time to time. Especially, you know, no one's real hard on themselves, and every once in a while, it's good to uh, you know to, to catch your breath for a day. It seems like every time Trevor hits a homer, breaking or setting some new record today, he's behind Tulo's rookie NL home run record for the short for short size. Just how impressive. Yeah, it's been it's been amazing. Um, you know, I know he he made a lot of noise with the with the historical start, but uh, he's been very good throughout. You know, um, nobody was going to keep up that pace that he had going early. But uh, it's a good player, man. Um, with uh, Mott, I think he had thrown thirty two pitches last night. How how short were you in the bullpen? Well, you know, Mott threw thirty two last night, but he had two days off before that, so he was good to go. You know, Logan was the one. Logan uh, is third night in a row tonight. And so uh, you know, I, I look at Freeman and Marquecas for Logan primarily. So that's the fourth and fifth hitters that inning. I just, you know, I thought uh, if I let Logan start the inning, by the time he gets to those guys, if he ends up getting to those guys, he's 20, 25 pitches into the inning, third night in a row. I just didn't like that. So uh, I just needed a couple of hitters to bridge that gap. You know, and, and uh, Adovino was down. You know, uh, Mott was, uh, you know, Mott's our guy late. So, uh, face the two hitters, it didn't, it didn't go real well. But, uh, um, you know, sometimes sometimes that's the way it goes. He, I think, I think he, uh, he was a cutter that, that sat in the middle of the plate for, uh, for Peterson that he hit out. But um, uh, Boone comes in and uh, continues his, his outstanding season. With Qualls being sick for the last week, is that <coughs> trying to shy away from him, especially in a situation where you need deep in yeah, Qualls hadn't been available. Um, he, he's been he's been pretty sick, so that's a conversation we need to have. You know, as we as we look toward these next couple of days, if, if he's going to be available or not. You know, you can only go short for so long, uh, especially you know the way we've been using our pen. So uh, yeah, it's a conversation we're going to have to have. Will you try to stay off the D tonight, or obviously he would have been the guy for the ground ball tonight. No, I wasn't trying to stay off. No. Um, yeah, no, I wasn't trying to stay off. When, uh, when Terrell left the game, how much do you think it hit you know, with your hitters to exhale and just pitching as well as uh, you Yeah, I mean, it, it, that's, it, there's no doubt about it. I mean, he's one of the better pitchers in the league. So, um, and he was real good again tonight. I mean, the slider command, the uh, fastball command is, is really, really good. So, uh, we'll see. It was, it was, we knew it was going to be tough to, to score like it was in Atlanta. You know, you know you're, you, you got your work cut out for you. The dog seems to really have success with that slider, especially late in counts, uh, particularly of late. How much has it developed since you've seen him that pitch? With Gray, yeah, that's that's uh, it's been a game changer. That slider, um, and we saw it early early in the season. Uh, you know, it, it it was it was really sharp. You know, it, it looked different than it did a year ago. He threw some good ones. Uh, you know, I, I remember his outing in New York a year ago where his slider looked like that, but it wasn't quite as consistent. He saw that we made it tidy with mechanics and we got the, some of those things ironed out. But uh, um, his slider has been, been a, a difference maker this year. A big, big picture, winning a game like this, what does it do for this crowd development confidence? Uh, 
No, it's, it's a big win in, in, in a lot of ways, um, especially for Carlos. Uh, but a lot, a lot, you know, it's just a tough win. When, when, when you have to fight for wins like that, they're, they're valuable.